We've got the Carolina Panthers. We've got the Atlanta Falcons. All right, I just saw that Carolina team with the guy you see on your screen, P.J. Walker, leading them with a couple of touchdown passes. They are getting four and a half now in Atlanta against Marcus Mariota and company. Uh, Mariota and the Falcons got toasted by Joe Burrow and Cincinnati last week. Our total is 41 in this one. And again, it looks like Walker will be the quarterback with the injuries to Baker Mayfield and to Sam Darnold, even though Sam Darnold is eligible to come off of the injured list. Why not play P.J. Walker? He threw it well enough against the Buccaneers. I saw that firsthand last week. Uh, Chris Farley, I'm going to come right back to you. Thoughts here, if no official play from you, on Carolina, Atlanta, and the NFC South. Yeah, a few things I, I really like on the Carolina side. A um, little, little gun shy in this one, too, because it's the Panthers and it's the Falcons, and you never know what you're going to get from the Falcons. Uh, but, you know, the Falcons, yeah, they, you know, they headed into last week 6-0 and against the spread. But remember, they were big-time underdogs in most of those games. They're finding themselves as the favorite this week. That's, that's a way different scenario, and they've played a lot of close games, right? But Carolina Panthers are pretty good against the run, only allow 4.1 yards per carry and that's good going up against a team like the Falcons who that's all they want to do is run the ball although you know certainly add some variance to it when you have a Marcus Mariota who can get to the edge etc and that's how the Falcons have been winning games uh, but one thing I really like is uh, Arthur Smith came out and said that the players believe in PJ Walker and you know PJ Walker kind of doing his best Geno Smith impression catching everybody by surprise very confident in his throws and he certainly adds an element to that offense that Baker Mayfield does not because he can scramble, he's more elusive, and he's a better athlete. And I think, I think the Panthers, when Baker's out there, for whatever reason, they become more pass-oriented. Now they've become more run-oriented with P.J. Walker. Did some good things in the run game last week, and we've seen that a few weeks from them, even without Christian McCaffrey last week. So that's a good thing for the Panthers. Um, I'm trying to present contrarian ideas in the Falcons for myself so that I don't pull the trigger on the Panthers. Uh, but I think the Panthers can keep this game close. It's a it's a divisional game. And, you know, at the end of the day, these are two very evenly matched teams. And I like the way that the Panthers are fighting, except for that game where they faced the, uh, the Rams. You know, that game was more about the Rams. The Rams covered that line. But the Panthers have been fighting all season. So I would lean to the Panthers in this matchup. All right, Scott Kellen, I know you do not have an official play. And again, at the risk of this sounding like sour grapes, they won the game with the Buccaneers. I'm associated with the Buccaneer Radio Network. I still was not overly impressed with them. P.J. Walker's not very big. Atlanta may be able to do some things uh, pass rush-wise to disrupt him. They have Devontae Foreman, I just saw him last week, and Chuba Hubbard replacing McCaffrey. But how well are they going to do on the road against Atlanta? Scott, any thoughts from you on a matchup on the road now uh, here uh, for the Panthers trying to win two straight. Yeah, well, hey, Chris, may maybe this will help you because this is kind of what's keeping me off Carolina as well. Um, teams that won as double-digit dogs last week, Carolina, that have a win percentage of greater than 250 are now 19 wins, 58 losses, and six pushes. So they're in a very, very bad spot this week from that standpoint. I show the value on Carolina as well, kind of just like you. Uh, and, you know, in, in, in pieces here where they could they could actually stay in this game, Carolina, surprisingly, has been pretty good at limiting pressure, 12th best in the league. We talked about this last week. Atlanta, dead last in the league in applying pressure on quarterbacks. That showed up front and center against Cincinnati. Uh, Cincinnati and Joe Burrow had a field day against that. That could allow P.J. Walker to have a little bit of time here to kind of do what he needs to do. And Carolina's passing game has not been good, uh, even though, you know, maybe last week it you know was a little bit better. But they're uh, 0.8 yards below average versus their opponents. But they're going to face a Falcons team that is 0.9 yards per pass worse than average in defending the pass. That might allow Carolina just to be an average team throwing the ball. And they do bring a better than average defense uh, to this game. And Chris already talked about they have some strength in, in being able to defend the run, which is what Atlanta wants to do. Uh, and, you know, just a bad defense lane points against a better than average offense uh, or better than average defense is, is usually not a great recipe for success. And there's a very small sample side, but size. But since Matt Rule got there, and obviously he's gone now, but uh, Carolina is 3-1 and one straight up, 4-0 and oh against the spread with their only loss by one point when they played teams that ultimately ended up finishing the season below 500 as a road dog. And we don't know where Atlanta's going to finish up this year, but uh, they probably don't fit the profile of a team that's going to be above 500. So 
This is just, again, in the realms of a, a team where Carolina can stay competitive and has stayed competitive on the road against teams that are similar to them as well. No play for me, but uh, some value on Carolina as well. And again, they showed some spunk last week to win that game. Give them credit. How much of it, though, was bad Buccaneers psychologically after the Evans drop that Scott was mentioning earlier in the show, blah, blah, blah. We'll find out with the Panthers in Mercedes-Benz Stadium playing Atlanta. No official play from the guys. We'll